Hey guys, welcome back to the Altered Book uh, Craft With Me tutorial series. Um, we are, I think, on part uh, four. Okay, so we had talked about the cover uh, last time, and I did come in and I added my material. So if you missed part three, I will, uh, I'll link the other parts below. Um, I did come in and I glued the material down and we used this right here and then I layered the lace over the top. Okay, I'm going to talk about finishing out the cover and then we're going to continue on with the embellishing of the pages and adding the tabs. So we were just a few pages in and um, we are continuing on. Okay. Now, I'm thinking with the cover, um, I wanted to, uh, I have my little box of fun things, and my, my eyelets came in. I showed you uh, last time how to make tabs out of cardstock. Also, I am using the beautiful digital kit uh, called Watercolor, uh, Spring Watercolors watercolors um, from Artie Mays. So you're going to see these digitals all the way through. And she has tabs ready made for you. Uh, they were just a different shape than I wanted to use, so I made my own. And you can find that in part three, how I made these tabs. So my brads did come in, so I was able to, or my eyelets came in, I was able to finish that off. Now, I uh, had mentioned doing some metal um, corners on my book, so these are the ones I chose, and these are very simple to put on. You can, um, I gotta grab my, um, uh, Ooh, pliers. You can reinforce them with glue. So I would say put a little bit of three in one or glues met for metal. Uh, the three in one does work um, on the inside. And let me grab my uh, pliers and you just simply squeeze those in place. And I think you just put, if you don't have these and you want some, you can buy a variety pack on Amazon and they're just called. Um, metal, uh, antique brass, if you want the antique brass, metal, um, let me see, I'm just looking for, I think I'm missing a pair of my pliers, but I think, no, these are needle nose, that's not gonna work. Um, I've got a pair of flat ones here. These are, these uh, are so old. Um, so I think I'm just going to just do one of the corners just so you can see. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of the three in one. Let me get a uh, scrap piece of paper and clean this off. Um, the three in one glue, just a little bit. This will be pretty secure in the corner. And then I found a pretty book plate. I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm just gonna hold that on there a minute and then um, try not to get seepage, glue seepage here. And then um, I'm just going to press this in. Actually, I'm gonna turn it on this side so you can see. And some, they, these are for kind of probably a little bit thicker book. Um, and you can get some that you can just slip right on there and you barely even have to um, squeeze them. Also, there's the kind that just sit right on the top of the book. They don't come over the edge, so you can find those as well. And they're more of just a metal book corner embellishment. So I have used those in the past. Let me get some of that glue off. Okay, so I will do the same thing down here. Then, I, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I have this. So I'm thinking about putting this on now. Ooh. <coughs> excuse me. Let me put the lid on this because this has been irritating me uh, since I got uh, the virus. Um, but I'm thinking I might want to do a metal eyelet here. 
and do a tie closure. So I'm gonna wait till the end because I wanna see how thick my book becomes. So I think that would be a great start right there. And we could find something from that beautiful uh, kit to put behind it, or you can um, put your own label behind it. <coughs> Excuse me, she also has some, um, and if I can come across them here, uh, label, um, little um, labels that I could use. Uh, they actually, you know, look like they have the metal around them and all of that. And they could be in the stack here, but I'm going to have to hunt for them. So that's going to be the cover. And um, I think I'm just going, I was thinking about doing something with the spine. But at this point, you can add a tassel. Uh, or whatever you want to embellish that. So let's move on. So last time we were moving forward on adding tabs and some trims to it. I've got a spread here um, that I thought was pretty. Did a little rhinestone there. This is a pocket in here. We will be adding things to that. I added one of the butterflies and um, I need to come and ink ink that after. Okay, we added this trim here. This is a beautiful place to put a, a photo or whatnot. I found this was one of the um, book pages right out of the book when I thinned it out, and I thought the picture was nice. Okay, so I did go on and add some other things in here, and I'll get there in a minute. But you see, we talked yesterday about how if you're not doing a full page and you're doing half pages, sometimes these are these come up here. So I thought, well, you know what? I can either do some washi tape like I did yesterday in the in the front of the book, or I can just add a little piece of fabric that I had left over over here. And let me just cut this uh, down. I'm just using my pinking shears. And then that adds a little kind of design in the fabric. And I'm going to go ahead and add this right down in there. And then these won't get caught and ripped up. So, you know, the whole idea of making an altered book journal, you want it, you know, you want to maybe, as you journal and add your pictures and all that in it, uh, you might want to pass it down. So you want it to kind of last. So these are all little details um, that I use in my, when I make my journals and sell them, um, that I watch out for. I just want to finish things off. And at this point, you could add some pretty laces or trims on either side. So I'm trying to get right down in the middle there. And so this gives a fun little trim. At this point, you could go ahead and add uh, a little lace right there. Let me see what I have over here. Some fun trims, some lace. Um, this is a little wide. Let me see if I have some narrower. All my white laces are on the bottom here. I have some crocheted lace. That's pretty. Let me pull this out and see how that looks. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll put a little crocheted lace on each side. Let me see. I have my little, my little scissors over here somewhere here they are my little trim scissors and I'll do two pieces of this and I'll put one on each side okay so let's measure this and then um my suggestion is to watch these videos all the way through because I do sometimes stop and give little tips and um, tricks and things like that uh, 
so you you might want uh, that information, especially if you're new to journaling. And that gives a nice pretty little embellishment there. So when you go to journal here or create here, your page is trimmed out so pretty. Okay, um, I wanted to add another, we're at a place where I think I might want to add a tab again uh, or some lace on the edge of the page. I came in and I did add, or I did make some fabric ruffles. I'm going to add this one right here because it just kind of all blends. And uh, I have a longer piece there, and these are cutoffs from the fabric that I used on the cover. And I also kept a piece out so I could do a fabric flip somewhere in the book. Okay, so we have that. So you can see the layers coming here now, and you will see the layers uh, coming off the edge here as we work our way through the book. Um, okay, so I have that there, and then now let's do, uh, I want to come down the page when I add the tabs. Okay, I did, this actually was supposed to be flipped over here, so I will keep it flipped. You can flip either way. Uh, I stenciled this side, I did that with you, and I did get the sticker, uh, uh, the piece off the back of that sticker, and then I added some cutoffs here. So this will be a pocket here and also a flip area to write on. This is beautiful just as is, but I think I'm going to go ahead and add um, a tab. Now this tab, the first tab, I added an, a, a brad. This tab, I think I will add an eyelet. And these are ready-made, ready for me to go. And I want to work my way down here. So probably right about there. Just going to eyeball it. And I'm going to put this glue away and pull out my eyelines. So we'll just glue these right on the edge of the page. And these are all ready for some fun uh, dangles and charms. Okay. Um, okay, so we have that and we'll add a fun charm on there or something else. Okay. Um, we were here last time, and um, I just added this trim here and then picked out these other two trims. But before I did that, I thought, well, you know, that's still a little boring. So I came in and I did add some of my cutoff pieces underneath so it added a little bit more interest and then put those laces on the top. So you can see how I finished that page out. Okay, this page, uh, at this point, we could add some trim on the edge of this bag. That would be pretty. Or, let me see. This is how I make my paper ruffles. These are just cutoffs, and I just do a nice long strip of them. And so then, these make fun embellishments on your pages and cost nothing. Very easy to do. So we could do, we could run some of that down here. Uh, so simple. Let me find my, here we go. That's not the right color. Just do a little ink on it because the uh, edges are rough, but this is fine. I'm just gonna do this, run it. I'm thinking I might want to layer this. This is where you could do a cluster. And 
and put some lice on the top. Or leave it as is. I pulled the wrong glue again. Okay, I'm going to bring it down off the edge of that bag, just like that. And then I'm going to layer this right over the top. Okay, and I think I might add a sequin or two. I thought about doing a little white lace, but I think I'm going to reach for my sequins. Let me see what I've got back here. So we want to keep with the uh, uh, aqua and the blue colors and, you know, like the washed. Here's a pretty... Here I got the sequin here. There's that one's pretty. I was trying to find some that kind of all match. That's that one. And we're gonna do three odd numbers. Here's one. I really wanted one that's a little smaller. Trying to get through here and find the colors. Of course, you know, they're all dumped in together instead of trying to, well, I'll just use those three. Separate them from by color. Okay, let's do a uh, round one up here. I am gonna use this for the sequins though. And let's see. I Let see how I want to position these. Maybe just ah, stick into my hands, just like that. Oops. Oops, wrong glue. Fighting with my glue today. Put it right down here. Just kind of stagger them a little bit. And this one kind of right up over that one. Let me push that up a little bit. All right, let me let that set up a little bit. Then you know, I'm looking at it and thinking, eh, needs one more little bit. My friend Debbie yesterday said, boy, embellishing sure does add a lot to the book. It kind of, I said, yep, it, I agree. I said, really, that to me, a book not embellished is naked. Another thing about embellishing is um, it can inspire you to create on that page, too. All right, so now we have this little bit. Let me just, sorry about that, guys. All right, and then this is a little flip, and then it gives a little bit more substance to the bag. So this will open here, and it's a fun place to store things, and also you can write on that. All right, let me just let that sit for a minute. Um, we are going to add something else on the edge here. It's time for some lace. Because we're gonna continue, we're continuing to layer, and uh, we want, the the uh everything you know the layers to come off the sides so if you missed the last one 
where I explain that. Okay, I've got, uh, you know what I might want to do right now? Let me pull over. I have this fun trim here. It's like a piece, and what I do is I cut out pieces from it. Like this little flower part. And then I embellish my pages with it. Okay, so let me put that aside. Uh, I'm gonna come in and trim off some of the edges. I just wanna see what this looks like see if it will even show mm, not a whole lot so I'm gonna put that aside and use that on the top of a page I'm gonna find some other lace here to, to use I'm gonna do lace and then I'll find a fabric ruffle I don't have any of this on the edge. I think I might use that. I also have this. This is something I'm gonna put right there. I did that at the bottom. This one's pretty. Let's see if I can get that. Let me see this. Okay, we're gonna use this. Now this flips down, so I've got to make sure that um, I don't put it over the top. Shut the book now and see if you can see it. Yep, that's a good, you can move it while your glue is still um, wet. Let me give that a second to dry. Um, when I pull my stamps out, I'll probably add some stamps, uh, stamping in some of these blank spots. All right, we're continuing on. I did add this lace here. I might have done that yesterday. Uh, this would be a good place to do a little of this fun embellishment. Let me put the lid on my glue over here. And what did I do with my little pair of scissors? I did pull this out too. This is also fun to embellish a page. I lost my scissors. All right, let's pull another pair out. Okay. All right, I just want to take off some of this little, these little connector pieces here. These are not good scissors. What did I just, oh, here they are. Nice, nice sharp pair here. Okay. Another thing that I haven't been doing is inking out the pages. I may just do that. I did ink out the first few, but I think I might just do that at the very and come through and add the different color inks onto the edges of the pages. My last journal I added gilding, um, gold gilding wax off the edges and it was so pretty, but that was a Christmas journal. And there was a lot of gold in the digitals, so. I think I had gold on the cover as well. This is tedious, isn't it? Okay. All 
I'm gonna put a rhinestone in the middle of that too. Could come in and uh, ink this a little bit. that add a tiny bit of glue in the center of this one uh, we could do a pearl or we could do a rhinestone I don't see any pearl colors in there I really like so I think we're gonna add a rhinestone One of the bigger ones. I could do one all over on all of them, but for the essence of time, I'm not going to. So let's add another paper tab. We're gonna work our way down and I think we'll do it on this page. This is a pocket. Okay, I did ink this. Let's add a uh, brad on this one. I've got this one. Let's see what I've put together in here. I thought I had, ooh, I've got this pretty yellow. Let's use that one. Let me see how that looks. Now, I'll use this further in the book. I think I'll just use the small brad here. Let me just close this. And I'm just going to take a pencil and just kind of mark my page where I want the next one to start. See where my little pencil line is. Let me close the book to see how far out. That's good right there. Let me just bring it out just a tad. I'm thinking this is needs a little piece of trim. Um, I got some pretty. This is too blue. This is too big. This has some aqua in it. It's all too blue. Kind of running out of this color. I think I'll leave it. Could use some white. All right. Uh, this is a good spread here. Uh, time to add something at the bottom of the page. I think I'll add this this way. Doesn't have to be fabric or lace. It can be paper. Since I put this fabric, this fabric ruffle on this side, I think I'll add this in to the corner here. I think I need a little bit further. 
further down. Okay. Slide that up a tad. I'm thinking I might add something to that. I love this rickrack I've been using. It's really pretty. Adds a little bit of something. I'm sorry, guys. Put it right down the middle of that. Very simple. Let's let that sit for a minute. Probably should have added, used my 3-in-1 on that. That material is a little... All right, so I think the next thing we're going to do is I want to add this piece off the edge. And make sure that's dry. Uh, still sliding all over the place. Um, probably down about this area, but I don't think it's going to be there. I think we're going to go further in the book. Because this is a flip. We did this yesterday. I just did, this is, this isn't a flip. This is a bag that I attached here. And um, we decoupaged that napkin on there. there here is the flip. Um, and we'll come and address this after. There's really nothing I want to put on there to be actual to, to be to tell you the truth because it's all it's a just a big spread for writing. Okay, I tucked this here because I was thinking this would be a good place for um, a little pocket here. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this, this ruffle instead. Goes this way. All right, let me close my book just to see what that's going to look like. Yeah, that'll be great right off the edge there and everything blends so shut my book to see where it is. I gotta push it in a little bit. It's hanging a little too close off. I will add a, um, a real pretty charm or something, or a pearl dangle or something off of that fabric. Okay, so there you go. So now I'm, I'm showing you, it's, you're, we're continuing our layers here. Okay, so we can do a another tab, and I think I'm going to have to start back up here as far as the tabs go, because this is going to be in the way. So, all right, before I do that, I'm thinking, do I want to put something at the bottom here? I feel like it's almost time for some... Let's add a little um, lace down here. Let me see if this lace will even show. It, it might not, it's so small. Okay, no. Let me get this. I'm gonna add some more of this pretty stuff right here. Let me just shut the book and see, yes. Okay, um, let me get my fabric scissors here. And I only want this bottom area. All 
right here. All right. And then I'm gonna shut the book and see where that is. If we can see it, we wanna see it. Beautiful. Okay, you see the layers? Moving on. If you don't like this rough edge, come in, you know? If you're just using trims of fabric and things, add another little something i kind of like that i'm gonna do that right now as a matter of fact i love this lace i reach for it a lot i found it on amazon kind of makes like a little double scallop Let me check the time. 36, probably five more minutes. I really don't, yesterday I went to 48 minutes and that, or 46 minutes, and I felt like that was too long for these little, you know, craft with me sessions. But um, I think we can go to 40, 45 minutes, 40 minutes. We wanna add something here. This is where, well, now this is sticking up here. So I think I'm going to add some washi on the inside here. This is where if, if you want, and you want to be able to journal on this area here, this is obviously a pocket, um, you can take your gesso and go over this, and then you have a nice writing area, but you can still see the vintage or the antique music in behind. I feel like we need something there. I have a couple of little things over here. No, I don't want to take away from the butterfly. I think I'm just going to leave that. I'll think about it. All right, now we're ready to turn the page. We're done there. We did this. We'll be adding charms and everything later. Okay. Um, we had, I had shown you, you know, to how to layer these little glass seam bags for tickets and things like that. And I put this little embellishment here. I want to do another little embellishment there. We have to run some washi down here. I see this washi right here. I think this is pretty. Kind of blends with that. You can reinforce your washi with uh, some glue if you want. Oh, the lawn people are coming. I hope the dogs don't bark, guys. Be forewarned ahead of time. Because I hear them coming. All right, let's see what we got. Um, we have these real fun stamps here. This is the only one that will fit. Uh, oh, this is pretty. That's a little big. This I'm going to just tuck. This will be fun just to tuck right in here. So I'm going to just tuck that one in. And I'll add a couple of more tickets after. Let me see what else I have. I have some little, ooh, let me see. These are all from the watercolor kit. So I have over here a pair of these scissors that are, they say stamp. These are cheap children's Fiskars, whatever. I like the butterfly. 
I like this. I think I'm going to use this one. It says postcard. So then you have that, you know, where it looks like an authentic stamp. If you don't want to sit there and fussy cut around the sides of the... All right. Let me add a little um, distress ink around the edge of that. These little glassine bags are just as cute as can be. So do I want to put that up there? I think I'm going to put it down here. So that way you can see they're translucent. You can see what you've got tucked in there. Right, so we'll put that there and these are fun to decorate your pages I might come back and do several more of these up in the corners of the plane as, as, as opposed to stamps as my you know like an ink stamp these would be fun all these little butterflies and stuff and she has different sizes in there as well this is a large kit and it's very versatile kit and I know I'll probably reach uh, for it from time to time. Okay, so we have these ready for our little tickets. She does add some tickets and things in there. Um, and when we get to the tag part, I'll be showing you all of that. Uh, okay, ready for a tab. Now we can add... Now I want this at the bottom somewhere because I have the other one that has the brad with the, the grain toward the top. So, okay, I think we'll add it on here, up here. Let's see what I have. That one goes quite nicely. The colors all blend. All right, we'll add this one. I'm going to actually make this a little smaller. If I can find my scallop scissors. I don't want to cover his beak. All right. And I think we'll add this, guys, and then uh, maybe some more lace at the bottom, and then we're going to call it session four is finished. And I will be back with session five as we continue to finish. Well, I am covering his beak. Let me shut this. Okay, that's good. Right there. That's fine. Okay. Time to add some lace at the bottom. We might do it on this page. These are pockets here. Um, I have some of this left over and it's so pretty and I think it would blend quite nicely right there. So let's go ahead and cut a piece of this. I'm going to just eyeball it. This is my very last piece of this. And I looked to see where I found this lace. I thought it was so beautiful. I have a book in my shop with this on the cover. Um, if you want to check that out. I sold, it's a, a, a fabric and lace journal cover. I sold the other one, but this one is still in there. Okay, so we'll add that to the bottom. I'm not going to use this glue. It's too wet. Takes too long to dry. And then I have this little piece to embellish something with. Maybe a tag. Use it all. Let me just see. Real quick. Yep. There we go. All right, I'm going to leave it there because that has to dry. And I hope you're enjoying this and you're getting some good tips on how to make your own journal. 
um, out of an altar book. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next side for part five. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.